while encouraging the next generation to inspire change through innovation and science. Joining us live to talk about the National STEM Festival are Carrie Byron and Jenny Bucos, direct co-directors of the National STEM Challenge. Good morning to you guys. Thank you both for joining us. Carrie, let's begin with you. Submissions are now being accepted for the second annual National STEM Challenge. So what is the goal for middle school and high school students? So the goal is for middle school and high school students to submit a science fair style project that will have a positive impact on the world. Um, they are these incredible projects where kids are trying to solve problems that we face. It's a really great way to encourage them into a pathway into a STEM career. Nice. Okay, so Jenny, next question is for you. Last year, you guys had, what, around 2,500 students or more that signed up. How are you guys encouraging more precipitation this year? I love precipitation. 2,549 last year. How, nice. we're, how we're encouraging more people this year? It's um, grassroots. It's from the ground up. It's connecting with community leaders who work with kids either as a teacher in the classroom or in those out-of-school learning programs like robotics clubs, space clubs. Uh, and those people know how to identify that kid that may sit in the back of the classroom and not raise their hand, but could potentially have the cure for a certain type of cancer. So it really takes the entire community to make this happen. Oh, for sure. And we hope good things come out of it. Carrie, what are you hoping to see this year? Oh, my God. I So I've been involved in science fairs ever since my Mythbuster days, and I love that catalyst moment where a kid is seen and it really encourages what they are interested in. And they, they just it'll it'll inform the rest of their lives. So for me, I love talking to the kids and hearing the things that really make them passionate. It's it's always been such an incredible highlight of my career. It's always good, too, because then you get to see, like, the bright future that the world will be, you know, when it's in their hand. You're like, man, these kids are so bright. <laughs> Jenny, you mentioned something about the kid in the back who doesn't raise their hand. How do you plan or how do you hope to reach more, let's say, underserved communities in general? So underserved or underestimated communities is sort of what we're all about. And it really is finding those nonprofit leaders, um, those uh, Girl Scouts organizations, those Boy Scout organizations, and saying, who is the kid that may not have the confidence uh, to do this because they haven't done the science fair circuit. If you go to science fairs, a lot of times it's the same kids. Um, but ours is a little different in that we are looking for those kids who say, mm, I don't know if this is for me. Um, we're going to help guide you through that process. And we score just a little bit differently. Creativity is high on our scorecard and the ability to communicate your project is high on our scorecard. So all the kids have the scientific background, but we're just looking for that little bit extra this year. Good, good. Yeah, good. hopefully we get the extra this year. And Carrie, what do you what is the ultimate goal of the National STEM Challenge? Well, for me, I like to really show that scientists are creatives. Um, they are uh, both critical thinkers and have empathy. And those are the people that are going to make the world a better place and create hope. So beyond just encouraging the kids to understand that science is for everybody. We mm. really want to put it out on a national stage so that everybody can talk about it. And you guys are the weather channel. You know <laughs> how important science is. Everything having to do with weather is science, technology, engineering, math. In fact, we even are interviewing a meteorologist for our digital companion piece this Wednesday because we know how important really? the weather science is. That's awesome. Love I love it. Thanks for doing that. Um, all right. So for anybody watching right now, Jenny, where do they go for information, how to sign up and all that? NationalSTEMFestival.com. Get those submissions in by October 20th. If you are a parent, an aunt, a grandparent, a teacher, tell a kid you know these do not have to be new projects. If they won a science fair before they entered a science fair, NationalSTEMFestival.com and get your submissions in before the yeah. 20th. Love and the good it. thing to the parents, too, is like you don't have to have a, a, a huge, bright idea. Just getting the kids there, they're going right. to meet so many other of their peers. It's going to be so great. their interest in something. Right. <laughs> Carrie, Byron, and uh, Jenny Bucos, thank you guys so much for being with us, co-directors of the National STEM Challenge. We appreciate your time. I don't know thank about you, you, but you. I still like the science fair. Thank science, you. You learn so much. Yeah. And then even as a parent, helping your kids through it. Yeah. And then you relearn it, too, yeah. which is always cool.